Please do not aggro on her. I don't think it will. Nobody just aggroed on me. Alrighty guys, so welcome back to Ark, where today is the day we go and tame a mantis. And I finally got me a desert ghillie suit, which is awesome. It looks awesome. So, I also did some drops, so I was able to get me some cactus broth stew, broth of enlightenment, and some other stuff. I had to make me, unfortunately, the bug repellent. Um, I also got me a bunch of ammo for it, and I also got me this sick gun. So hopefully I can use this to uh, take out the unneeded mantises. I've already got one selected. It's got two around it. I've already checked its stats. Its melee is what we're going for. It's got a good melee on it. So I just had to come back here and get my uh, ghillie suit and all that. Now this is one I got out of the drops, luckily. You get good ghillie here. I'm not going to lie. Uh, especially if you go for the lower drops. Don't go for the red. Go for like the yellow and uh, the purple. The purple's the one I think I got the most out of. Okay. We're already over here. I've already consumed one of everything I would need. I already got a couple minutes with it. So what we need to do here is be sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Well, this should only take two to do. But we we also got to take out other mantises. So that's the level 50. Okay. So we can't... Let's not endanger the 150. We're going to fly straight up here. As soon as we get out of their render zone, uh, it should lose aggro. I don't know where the other mantis is. It's next to it. Okay. So it's still got our aggro. We got to lose it like completely here. And also, we did manage to get max level here on uh, our wyvern. And I'm pretty sure we've lost that mantis's aggro. So now what we do... Does it still have our aggro? No? Where's the other one? I should track it, because there's a level 5 that's around here somewhere. That mantis is still tracking me. But you know what? Oh, be careful. We can't hurt the... You know, hold up. I don't know where the other one is, so let's quit doing that. I should have tracked both of them there instead of being a dummy. There we go. They're both tracked now. And that one has been eliminated. So now I gotta lose this one's aggro completely, so if I fly straight up... I should lose its aggro. I got bug repellent. I got a ghillie. I got my broth of enlightenment. We should be good. I just did the broth of enlightenment. So that way we do get like bonus XP. I think we even get XP from taming creatures. So uh, that's why. We're going to land you back over here. Okay. And then we're going to put away the guns. We're gonna crouch. We're gonna slowly approach the mantis. This one has some nice colors on it. It's black and white, which is really nice. I'm going for it though for the white. Now I need that white so that way I can remake Blossom. That's that's our goal. We're gonna remake Blossom hopefully. Okay, okay, okay. Need to wait here. Tell you're good to eat another one of those. You're good. The sounds they make are a little creepy. Need to wait, need to wait, need to wait. Uh, I think I'm going to wait until it starves down by 50. That'd probably be good. It got almost 70% off of one horn, so two of these should get it there. And I am on single player, and I have two times taming. Okay, okay. Let's back off. We Let's back off. We've been too aggressive on how close we've been to it. 
even though we are a bush. Ooh, let's put the mask back on. I do have a riot shield just in case it does decide to attack me. That's just so I can protect myself. Wait until it's hungry. I've been trying to wait until it's hungry. It's almost down by 100. Maybe that's what I need to wait for? It did say it was going to be a 4 minute tame. And I trust Dodo Dex. Honestly. I do trust it. There is one thing I am kind of stressing about. He's getting close to Storm. And I feel like he's going to aggro on her. Please do not aggro on her. I don't think it will. Nobody just aggroed on me. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We just got to lose its aggro and then we'll come straight back down and we'll try and feed it. I don't think that should mess up the taming any. Come on, higher. We're not out of render distance yet. I think, yep, we've popped out of render. That was a close one, I'm not gonna lie. I will say I did push my limit. So, we're just gonna crouch up on her now. I'm not joking, it just made the aggro- it got aggroed on something and scared me in the process. Like, I just full on thought he got aggroed on me again. But it didn't. I'm pretty sure, though, we should be able to feed it. Please feed. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Oh, I saw it. I saw it. Yes! That is our mantis. That is one. Ooh, 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 We shouldn't be quite celebrating yet. Hi. That, that vulture saw too much. We had to take him out secretly. That is a 44 in melee. That's actually really good. You did get what we want, so we can. Ooh, 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 ooh. We actually have emotes for this. Let's dance. Uh, where, do I, do I have it? Where is it? I'm trying to like think of where that emote is. Oh, that's the standoff. I'll figure it out here. I think it's summer bash. Yeah, here we go. Oh, nope. I did not. I don't know what I just whistled. Okay, that's what it is. I figured out what I'm doing wrong. I have to do it, though. Hula dance. We got it. You can go in the cryopod now. Alrighty guys, here's number two. I got him prepped, but a sandstorm has decided to hit us right as I got ready. So, we're kind of bogged down here. I don't think we're going to be able to catch up with him. I got to actually, like, walk. Ooh. So we got to sneak up from behind. I've taken my bug repellent. Okay, we're good. Let's get back to him. Let's get back to Storm. Right, let's get back to her. Sorry, I called her a him. And uh, we're going to let this guy starve down by 200. That seems like the lucky, the lucky thing. So hopefully the sandstorm passes over us by then. I also just completely walked in the wrong direction. Almost completely past Storm. Not going to lie. Alrighty, so I also just remembered. I don't think I showed you guys the stats. The sandstorm has passed. What we will do is we'll go sneaky mode. And boom. There, now you guys can see his stats. We're going after him for the stamina. So that does mean the next one is going to be a little bit more tricky. 
because I got two females in a row. So my next one absolutely has to be a male. And then it also absolutely has to have the... Or it's a male that has to have that stat. That's good. So that does make my job a little bit harder. Also, can I untrack you real quick? Just so that way I can see. Can you eat? Can I feed? Let me hand feed you. Also, that sandstorm has passed, and it was kind of long. Not going to lie. I was already flying around in it for a little bit before I started recording. Also, god damn it, Mantis. Wait until it's hungry. Okay. It's weird still being able to see it. It's awesome, though. The graphics are awesome. Being able to see the sandstorm after it's passed way back over there. And the fact that you don't technically see the effect until it hits you. So you can be... It can spawn on one side of the map. You see it coming. And then if you hurry over to the other side of the map... It won't hit you until you get to the other side of the map. Or until the effect gets to the other side. But it's the same thing. So if you rush over to the other side of the map during a sandstorm... It, like the side it started from it'd be it'd be done sooner over there than it would be on the far side that it's headed towards I know that sounds weird I kind of started confusing myself halfway through it but I've already tested it in my single player run I did play around a little bit in single player before I started my series and uh, it was awesome like just testing out all the effects seeing where all the wyverns are I didn't even realize that there was a cave in the Wyvern Trench. Like, until I went down in there. <sighs> Boom. Alright, please, please, please have your stamina gotten good. 41. Eh, that's... That's okay. I take it. It's above 40, at least. So, my next one has to be a male. Okay, guys. I got me a 150 male here. I've already checked his stats. He's got 35 in his health. He's going to be perfect. Alright, he doesn't have a choice in whether or not I will make him. Okay. Okay, we got these two on us. Let's watch. Watch the 150. I need to make sure I get these guys. Okay. Okay. We've cleaned off the unwanted mantises. So now let's go up. Also, if you're wondering where we are, we're right next to the wyvern trench. So let's please not have anything bad. I'm pretty sure I still have some 190s chilling in there. I haven't done any dino wipes at all in a while. So some of the 190s that spawned in are still chilling down in there. I'm pretty sure of it. Although one of these wyvern, this wyvern right here absolutely can withstand a, wy a wyvern attack. Also, I know, my throat is starting to get gooey. <clears throat> I've been talking a lot today. I need to find something to drink. But we should be good here. Let's uh, do this. We'll hit the cactus broth. We'll hit the enlightenment. Nope, nope. I just drank all my cactus broth. Jeez, I'm an idiot. I didn't realize I hit both it twice. Okay. Ooh, there's the mantis. Okay. We're approaching so lowly. For all it knows, I'm a bush. Ooh. Damn it. I picked berries. I didn't feed it. There we go. There we go. There we go. Now, we gotta run and wait for it to starve down by 200. Hopefully, no wyverns come out of the trench and try and eat it. That's what I'm going back over here to do, is to protect from wyverns. I ain't gonna lie. They get a little peckish, and they will fly out of the trench to look and find something to eat. But I'm pretty sure... I haven't flown down in there, so I don't think I've loaded any of the wyverns in so, it just should be the ones that are already out that are out. So, none of the... You know, yeah, none of the 190 should be coming out because they've all been deloaded. I'm pretty sure. 
Unless they followed me out of... Well, they're probably out over the mountain then. If they followed me out, that's probably where they went. So, we just gotta wait here. Alrighty, guys. So, this guy should be ready for another feed. Problem is, I think I got a little close there on my wyvern. Oh, there we go. Perfect. Also, I'm kind of fine for my, far from my mic. Sorry. There we go. What did your stats come out as? 49. That is perfect. You are perfect. Now, that means we got all three wy all three of these guys. I almost said wyverns. All three mantises for the genetic library. Now, that's pretty awesome. All right? I'm not going to lie. Now, this did take me quite a bit quite a bit of time today it took me about two hours to get them all and i was mostly just flying around killing every mantis i saw that wasn't a 150 and then the ones that were 150s i would check and then just beam them so that's probably the best way to do it if you're looking for good max levels make sure you got your tech bot binocs are with you or uh what are they i think i think they've been updated to spawn on this map no, no, they do not. Uh, but there's a deer, like one deer creature that I have. It's modded in. It can spawn over on the island in the redwoods. And uh, it's like you got thermal vision and you also get the creature stats. So that's why I like it. But we got our three mantises. That's actually really good. I'm not going to lie. Getting three of them in one day and not losing my damn mind. Although, I feel like I'm investing a lot of times into uh, single videos like this. But I was just wanting to show you guys how I have to do with this. How I have to fly around and kill things. And, yeah. But, this is them. Now, I am going to have to run back and get some different ones for the colors. I didn't get any ones with good event colors. This one, though, kind of like. I'm not going to lie. But I'm trying to remake Blossom. Okay, sadly, I don't have any screenshots of Blossom, but I do have this. Boom. It's legit my YouTube video with her in it. It's uh, my original ARC playthrough, ARC Survival Evolved. Uh, this is the Scorched Earth Saga playlist, by the way, that you can go and watch this in. It's episode 70 of my Scorched Earth playthrough. Or not, it's episode 70 of my entire playthrough. It's just marked Scorched Earth. That's how I have them marked back then. But yeah, this is Blossom. This was my praying mantis for caving. I'm basically trying to remake her. So, I know I can do it. I have the event creatures turned on. I need the pink for the back. And then I need the blue for the underbelly. Those are the two colors I still need. I already got the white for the main body. Alright, and then I got the other ones for stats. So, what that means is I'm going to probably have to go try and tame at least two more mantises. Hopefully, and to get these colors. So, yay, my life is going to be tough because I have to go tame more man. Well, if I go for low level ones that have the colors, which I'm probably going to do, it should be very, very easy. Not going to lie. But yeah, I think that is probably going to be it for this episode, honestly. So if you guys have found yourself at any point liking this episode, please do remember to leave a like and subscribe. And as well, remember to hit that bell so that way you guys get notifications on when I post. Also, I am currently running a YouTube channel membership goal. So what we are trying to do is reach 10 YouTube channel members. It's $1.99. Once we reach that goal, I will be opening up an ARC server. And once we get closer to it, I've been thinking about doing the center in Ori Ragnarok. But once we get closer to, like, the goal being complete, we'll discuss more about it with all the people that are members. But yeah, anyways, this has been Gun Shimori, signing off. Peace.